I want to get back to Amazon. They are trying to get into the pharmacy business, and in response, CVS might buy Aetna for $66 billion. That's an extraordinary development. Joining us now is uh, Christian Magoon, CEO of Amplify ETFs. He's, that's uh, one of the funds he created is a basket of online retail stocks. All right, Christian, you, you're really going to tell us about the dominance of Amazon. That's what I want from you today. Go. Well, it's Amazon's world, and we're just living in it, Stuart. I mean, it's not J.C. Penney's world anymore. Amazon's invading everywhere. First it was books, then it was just consumer goods. Uh, now it's going to be your grocery store, potentially home delivery, uh, cloud computing. Uh, they're innovating. They're hungry, and they keep marching on. We're seeing up, them up over 10% today uh, in trading in the markets. Now, I'm told that they're going to have, what, 43% of all online sales in the United States this calendar year. That is extraordinary dominance. Am I right, 43%? You're correct. They own the online retail market. They have the biggest market share. But remember, online retail sales are still less than 9% of all U.S. retail sales. So there's a green field of opportunity for online retailers like Amazon to see their market share uh, go double or triple in the next three to five years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, are you familiar with the Gallup poll that just come out with this one? It says holiday shopping will really jump big time this year. People plan to spend mm, close on a thousand bucks each on gifts compared to seven hundred and eighty five dollars in 2016. The big winner this holiday shopping season, Christian, surely is the online people, isn't it? Yeah, it should be, Stuart. Uh, their market share is growing at a faster rate. In fact, brick and mortar market share is real, literally declining quarter over quarter at a double digit rate. So uh, that should be a great thing for online retailers. Interesting thing from that survey, both Democrats and Republicans expect to increase their Christmas uh, holiday kind of shopping spending by about 100 percent. Or, sorry, by about $100. So, uh, you know, that probably means that they're expecting tax cuts. So I urge uh, Democrats and Republicans to get together to make this tax cut happen for the <laughs> holiday shopping season and, and for the economy. You're talking up your own book right there. Now, are, are there <laughs> any, is, is there anything on the horizon which you could see as a really big negative for Amazon? Yeah, there's a few things. Uh, first, the ownership of Amazon. Uh, Jeff Bezos, who I think today becomes the richest man yep. in the world, so. uh, is going head-to-head -head with President Trump. He does own the Washington Post. That's been very critical. Uh, Amazon is expanding into other areas that could uh, uh, potentially uh, have some FTC concerns on monopoly and business practices. Also, the, their biggest uh, grower in terms of percentage growth in their overall business is their cloud computing business. Microsoft and Google are aggressively going after it. So that's why we like buying a basket of online retail okay. stocks, not making a bet on one company. All right, Christian Magoon, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you, sir.